Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sahid here, and we're back with a brand new first look to the channel. This game is called Pixel Art Academy, and it's a little bit different from stuff that we normally play on the channel, but it's brand new. It's out, I think, in early access on Steam. I don't know, I saw it, and it was interesting. <laughs> So it's literally a game about learning how to make pixel art and I've played around with pixel art in the past just as a hobby thing and I am terrible at it. So I'm kind of excited to see what this game has to offer us. Create a new save. I hope it does a good job. I want to become a pixel art creator. Maybe I can put some in my thumbnails. Okay, the height save. Your game will be automatically saving to this disc. Okay. To do, click here to read task instructions. This notepad will keep track of your current tasks. You can always click on task to learn how to complete it. Click on the arrow to get back to the task. Learn basic pixel art tools. In the drawing app, complete the basic tutorial to learn how to use essential drawing tools. Okay, tutorial. Hello? Oh, pixel art tools basic. Pencil, learn how to use the most essential pixel art tool, a one pixel pencil. Learn how to use the most. Okay, we already read that part. Let's get going. Click on the pencil. Use the pencil to fill the pixels. Okay. I mean, looks pretty pixel arty to me. What is this? Is this, uh, <laughs> one of the aliens from Space Invaders? <laughs> Great, go back to your portfolio and find the sprite. Perfect. Space Invaders. Oh, yeah, it literally said that. Okay. Perfect. Eraser. As you can imagine, eraser is great for removing pixels. Okay. Eraser. Oh, my gosh. So you can draw the same thing with addition or subtraction. Imagine that. Perfect. Okay, let's continue. Color fill. Learn how to fill in big areas of color quickly. This game is peaceful. Uh, I think I have it selected. Okay, there we go. That was easy. And learn how to fill in big areas of color quickly. We just did this. Where's the next one? Oh, this one. Start. Color. Oh, wait a minute. We don't want to color that. Do we want to color this? Oh, I see. And then we erase a couple squares. We did the thing. Okay. What else do we got? When using the color fill, you have to watch out for gaps in the outlines. Yes, of course. Just like when you're using paint to make your artwork. <laughs> okay. Anybody else use Microsoft Paint? It's like a sketching tool. Now that you know the three most essential tools, use them in unison to quickly complete the sprite. Um, so we can fill this whole thing. We can eraser these guys, and then we can kind of color these guys. We got ourselves a UFO. Okay. An efficient pixel artist will learn shortcuts to switch between tools. B is pencil, E is eraser, G is color fill. B, E, and G. Okay, so B. Yep, 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 G, E. Oh my god, I'm a pixel artist. Look at us go. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Reference images will be very important throughout your creative journey to draw more accurate and believable images. Okay. Uh, okay. How do I... How do I do this? Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Hang on. Am I supposed to just try to mimic this? I think so. 
You can resize the reference by dragging its edges. I don't think we need to do that right now. So we're just going to go something like this. I don't know how close it has to be. Two, four, six, two, four. Does it have to be exactly the same or as long as it's close? I don't know. Something like this. I did not make this deep enough. I think we have to go all the way, actually. Something like this. There we go. Look at us go. Okay, learn the basics. Complete the pixel art software challenge. Pixel art software. In the drawing app, under the challenges section, select a pixel art sprite and copy it to show you got the hang of using pixel art software. Uh, challenges? Choose a sprite to copy. Make sure you are ready to complete the Pixar drawing assignment. This challenge requires you to copy an existing game sprite. Oh boy. One color or more. Complete colors tutorial. Okay, I guess we're doing monochrome. <laughs> Big or small? I guess we're doing small. Character or something else? Character. Character. Good or bad? Mm, good. Choose the card. Squid or frog? Frog. Disenfranchised frog. 2017. Okay. Where's my... Where's my thing? Okay. What is this? Zoom. Oh, okay, okay, I think we need that actually. So what do we need? Let's start with three down and we can go like that and then I think this is a probably a pretty good spot to start and then we can just go right across. Whoops. Oh, it actually tells you when you screw up. Well, isn't that nice? Okay, we'll do something like this, something like that. We're almost there already look at that and then we can finish up the chin and something like this uh-huh 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 okay right like that perfect we did the thing learn about switching colors in the drawing app complete the color tutorial Switch between different colors. Uh, challenges, tutorial, colors. Draw a sprite with multiple colors. How do we do? I guess we need the pencil and then we pick the color. Hold up. What's the easiest way to do this? I think if we just put this whole color down like that and then we can erase the corners. That's not the worst. And then we pull up the brush again. We can give it some eyeballs. And is this the right color? I, I don't know. I don't know if that's the right color <laughs> what the heck is going on did i mess up this oh i have the wrong color everywhere okay so we can recolor that now what's the situation with this is it like pink no i can't really tell what color that is i thought it was this one but it's not what about I just keep trying them all. Is it like gray? There we go. <laughs> okay, we got it. We did it eventually. Switch between colors faster. Pick them directly from the canvas. Shortcut. I. Switch between colors faster. Pick them directly. Shortcut. I. Okay, so I think what that means is it wants us to do this and then we can brush we can eye and brush. Oh, this is feeling pretty good. I'm not sure about this shape though. 
whoops a little a little bit off the edge there <laughs> okay there we go this is a fun game I, like I, I don't know i've wanted to do pixel art before like i said so this is a good way to get into it and it's like interactive rather than just you know sitting at your computer drawing just nothing feeling like you're going nowhere this is like a nice little way to feel like you're accomplishing something little mini games i'm i think when i was watching the trailer it looks like they also give you like tips um learn about helper tools what the heck is a helper tool zoom working on bigger images requires you to zoom in and out to make drawings easier shortcuts move mouse scroll or control with plus minus okay let's see oh yeah that is terrific okay so we're gonna zoom in here get our brush out and just start filling in all of the tiles it's so peaceful i don't know i could just find myself playing this game for hours probably <laughs> just just sitting doing nothing tracing the dots i don't know there's something just soothing about it there we go definitely not a game for everybody but i don't know this seems interesting learn how to quickly draw lines with the pencil click on the indicated pixel to start a new line click hold shift and click on the end pixel oh you can keep holding shift to connect multiple rows like this and then release shift whenever you want to start a separate line like that oh that is nice how does it know okay that is not quite the right spot is it i think that looked better no can i control Z? <gasps> you can't control Z. <laughs> why is that not a thing okay anyway we're almost there uh, uh oh like this i don't know if i can make a line through there it doesn't look like it wants to play very nice okay so some of these i guess you have to just draw because yeah it's not quite doing what it's supposed to Okay, I don't know what that is. What is that? I actually don't know what that's supposed to be. Drop me a comment down below. Artwork from 720ZX Spectrum. Probably a ramp? Looks like a ramp. Atari, 1987. Okay, what do we got here? When working on bigger artwork, you'll need to move it around, focus on different details. Hand is H. Okay okay zoom in here we get our pencil out oh yes oh i don't want to do that part oh look at us go magic okay what else do we need uh oh way over here there is some more and we can do all sorts of fun stuff Okay, is that it? Hello? Oh... Did I put a line across the whole middle? <laughs> I think I put a line across the whole middle. I must have been holding shift on accident. Maybe when I went across. Okay, there we go. We did the thing. Just gotta erase a bunch of stuff, that's all. Um, one of the biggest advantages of digital art is the ability to undo our actions. Okay, now you're gonna let me undo? Now you're gonna let me undo? Stupid game. Whoops, the undo button. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. There we go. There we go. And then we just make a whole bunch of lines. Like this. 
and finish up some dots and we're good to go code masters perfect play the game but oh, we haven't even started yet what the heck snake press to start what the heck snake press to begin wait where's the start button start well what wait where's the start button enter oh 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 reset cart where's start <laughs> what the heck is going on oh 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 here we go here we go start is just x apparently what is what the heck am i doing this is not what I was expecting when I signed up for a pixel art game. Okay, I don't know how long we're going to do this for. This is taking forever. What if I just die? I just... I don't want to, though. <laughs> it's just something about it. I don't want to die. Okay, whatever. Let's just die. Score. 15. Press button to start. What the heck? Okay, I played the game. Oh, that's all... Draw snake sprites? In the drawing app, find snake art. Okay. Uh, projects. Snake game. Snake body. One unit of the snake body. Food piece. Okay. How do I do this? Edit? Oh, we're... Are we changing it? I think we're changing it. Erase. We want the snake to look a little bit more roundy, right? And maybe more like this. Okay, mm. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's too roundy. Let's, let's um, put it back a little bit. We'll take this color and we'll do something like that. That looks more like a caterpillar, but okay. And then the food, the food is going to look like a nice red apple. And because we don't have red, this is the closest thing we're going to get. Um, something like that with a little, with a little stick. <laughs> The leaf. <laughs> That's kind of cute. I don't, you know what? Maybe let's make it a little bit bigger so that it looks more symmetrical. There. That looks kind of cool. Kind of cute, right? Let's try it. Wait, did I save it? I don't think I saved it. Oh, I did. I did. I did. Okay, so now if we play the snake game, what do we got? Snake? Oh, yes. Look at this. Look at it. <laughs> okay, that is so cool. I I do like that it lets you update the game. That is so fun. Okay, anyway, let's just get out of here. Bingo. That is awesome. Okay, what are we working on now? Sea sprites in action. We did this. With the game sprite replaced, run Pico 8 again and see how your art looks in the game. Do any updates until you're happy. Score at least 10 points. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know how many we have. I'm hoping it's enough. I don't want to have to do this again, though. Let's do one more. Ah, one more. It's right there. Okay, we got to have enough now. Score 17. Okay, we definitely, we definitely did it. Music? Learn about lines. In the drawing app, complete the elements of art line tutorial to learn about the most fundamental element of art. Tutorial. Elements of art. The most straightforward lines. If you know your tool well, drawing them should be as easy as shift clicking. We've already done this. We. Whoops. Undo. There we go. There we go. This is fun. 
we did the thing. Next is elements of our curved lines. Curves are trickier and require more practice, but with pixel art, it's always easy to fix them. How does this work? There are multiple ways to draw a curve with the pencil. The hardest but natural is click and drag along the line. Uh, I mean, that's not bad. Don't worry if the line looks wobbly or uneven. You will learn how to clean it up in the future. For now, try a method that will ensure one pixel width. Click on the starting pixel. Press and hold shift. Click along the line in small increments to draw a curve out of many straight... Oh, okay, 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 hang on. We start here. And then we just keep clicking on the line. That is interesting. I would have never considered that, but that's cool. Okay, the final technique is the slowest, but offers the most control. Zoom in and click on the pixels that the line most clearly crosses. Uh, Click on the line most clearly crosses? Click on the pixel that the line most clearly crosses. Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to be making it fatter. Complete the final curve in whatever way you prefer. The old drag method. There we go. You did it. And don't worry if you're not happy with the look yet. You will learn the rules behind pixel art curves soon. This is what I'm talking about. This is exactly why I wanted this game. This is the stuff. The knowledge. Lines often change direction in corners to create more complex design. Okay, let's go like that and like that when are you gonna give me all the juicy details game uh okay that looks okay and then this one we're gonna have to just go for it oopsie daisy you went too far from the line but don't worry <laughs> How dare you tell me how to draw my pixels? Okay, you know what? There. Are you happy now? Okay, and then we just give it one of these. I want to know the rules. It said it was going to teach me the rules. What does that look like? Even if you don't realize it, you've been practicing drawing broken lines all your life. One. And uh, two, and three. <laughs> okay, there we go. And a four, and a five. Oh, hang on. One more. There we go. You, you got. You love to see it. That actually doesn't look that bad, you know? If you join two lines together, you can draw outlines of objects. Uh, what does that mean? Apple? We have an apple. Whoa, what the heck? Okay. What am I doing? Just tracing this line? There we go. It doesn't look like an apple at all, but we will accept it. Some objects can be drawn in a more stylized way. Like this Christmas tree. Oh no. Well, here goes nothing. Okay, you know what? That actually is not the worst. <laughs> I don't hate it. It looks okay. Lines are also used to draw the internal edges of objects. What does that even mean? Internal edges. A cube! There's no internal edges of a cube. Well, I guess maybe these count as internal edges. Okay. And... There we go. We got a nice cute little cube. 
We can arrange lines into patterns to indicate details, textures, or shading. What does that mean? Oh, I see. Whoops. No, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, the old Minecraft circle. Perfect. <laughs> okay. That's not bad. I mean, circles with squares on this small of a scale is pretty tough. Like, if you zoom out really far, it looks great. Okay, learn about lines. Learn about lines in pixel art. Pixel art fundamentals jaggies. In the drawing app, complete the pixel art tutorial intended and perceived lines what the artist intends to draw and what the viewer perceives does not always match with what is actually on the canvas okay oh however because of how the pixels are connected the viewer still perceives the result as a diagonal or a curve Uh, what the artist wants to communicate, what what is on the canvas, what the viewer interprets. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, obviously. Learn about the main stylistic characteristic of pixel art. How many things in your drawing will align with the grid? Pixels can perfectly match such shapes. So, what is this? <laughs> a bench on a hill? Looks like a bench on a hill and a flower pot and a light standard and a handrail. Diagonal jaggies, curved jaggies, not a jaggy, not jaggies, actual stairs. Okay, that makes sense too. Some jaggies are less desirable than others. What does that mean? Pixel art lines are constructed out of multiple rows or columns of pixels that usually touch in corners. Okay. However, when we draw lines freehand, we often unintentionally cross over multiple neighbors where the rows connect. These unintentional pixels are also referred to as doubles since we only need one of them for a minimal line. Remove one pixel on each of the doubles. Okay. We just remove all the top ones, I guess? I don't know. Doubles create jaggies and perceived lines, disrupting the smooth flow across the line. Whoops, I think I went too far. Oh, I see. Yeah, it gets really weird when you do that. Um... Okay, so one thick. Even without doubles, certain patterns of line segments lead to jaggies and perceived lines. Pixel artists nowadays mostly use the term jaggies to describe these undesired pixels. Jaggies. Oops. Wait, what the heck is this? Move the pixel to eliminate the problem. I want to see... I guess I can see that. It looks kind of janky. Okay, we'll get rid of that one and we'll put one in there. And then I don't think this one was supposed to be there. There we go. Similarly, unwanted jaggies can disrupt the flow of diagonal lines. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Jaggies. I'm learning all the tech, the tech terms now. Practice cleaning up doubles and corners. Undesirable, undesirable doubles are an issue when drawing lines freehand. Connect all the pixels by drawing a curve through them with a single freehand stroke. Uh. Okay. You can now open the pixel art evaluation paper on the bottom right corner to get an analysis of your line. F? <laughs> oh 
Lines are considered pixel perfect when they don't have any doubles or other corners. Click on the pixel perfect lines criterion below to see individual problems. Oh my god, I didn't realize <laughs> that it was this tough. Okay, so okay, okay, okay. So what we need to do is make sure none of these lines are doubled. Okay, I think something like that. I, I don't really like this spot. In fact, I don't like any of that. It's not making it any better. Anyway, let's erase some of this other stuff. And... That looks close. We got an A. Oh, look at that. <laughs> we got ourselves an A. Perfect. We did the thing. You love to see it. All right, guys, we are going to wrap it up right there. Hey, I got my hands on a demo album by Home, a.k.a. the brilliant kid who started the the chill synth genre you can find it on the music app learn about lines and pixel art okay guys we're gonna wrap it up right there like i was saying this game is called pixel art academy if you want to go ahead and check it out it is available on steam it's on sale right now because it just came out and honestly if you want to get into pixel art or like even just just chill and just draw some stuff this is a pretty good game. I'm going to be playing it some more, that's for sure. We're in, currently in version 0 0.21, so it means they're still developing it. And, I mean, I guess there's probably more to come, but... Yeah, that's going to wrap it up here for our first look at Pixel Art Academy. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and I will see you next time.